What's up, Libra? What's poppin'? It's your girl D here with Eighth House Energy. Here to bring you another reading for March 2021. I hope all is well in the Libra community. For those of you returning, I want to thank you for the love and support that you show the channel and in the ways that you do it. Thank you so much. For you, those of you new, feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I do post weekly for all the placements, so if this doesn't resonate, you got like a few others that you can check. So you make sure you hit that subscription button. Hit that notification bell, that way you won't miss when I post the fresh content every week for you. This is general, it's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Let's see what we got going on for my Libras. There will be an extended, the link's in the box below. Reach out if you need a personal, the information is in the box below. Alright. Libra energy, what we got going on for Libra? Libra is finally spring! Yes, I'm so amped, and I'm saying on every damn video, because I'm amped. I'm so excited that it's spring. I love spring. It's my favorite time of the year. Shout out to those of you who, um, you know, have prominent placements at Aries. Happy birthday. I got Aries in my sixth house. So, uh, we'll see what's going on with that. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting now that I say that. I'm thinking about some things here. All right, so listen, what we got going on for Libra. All right, we're going to do a general read first, and then we're going to do something more specific. <laughs> I'm just looking at the cards that are coming out here. What do I do? Number, I guess I'll do four real quick for you. All right, let's see. What's up with Libra? All right, Libra. First card we got out is the phone. Cell phone. Some of you, you know, maybe you're getting a new phone. Some of you could have lost your phone. I feel like somebody might have lost their phone or somebody's going through your phone. Be careful. Somebody might be trying to look through your phone. Some of y'all might got somebody on block, not answering calls. Some of you might be changing your phone number, changing up your whole cellular, your whole cellular, you know, whatever. <laughs> you could be switching providers. You could be going from Sprint to, to AT&T because, you know, you're a current Sprint customer and you want that Galaxy but they want you to kick out a couple hundred. You're not having it. You sort of you sort of commercial how AT and T treats their old customers and their new customers the same. They give them the same promotion. So you know, you're like, well, let me go over there. So you got your Galaxy Pro, got your new phone number, looking all brand new and shit. Look at you. That's what's beautiful. Some of you be on the phone playing games. You be in the doctor's office sitting there waiting for your appointment for a whole hour and a half because your doctor's a, a damn schmuck. And make you wait a whole hour and a half to get there. But then if you don't show up for an appointment, they charge you 50 But that's a whole other story. <laughs> but at any rate, some of you on your phone playing games. All right? You must have downloaded a game or something. But yeah, you could be just sitting around playing games. I don't know. We'll clarify and see what's up with this. I don't know what's up with the bagels. But we're going to clarify that too. Some of you, um, you know, you got a bag of bagels taking them to work. You know, you got a bag of everything, a little bit of everything. You know, you get the dozen bagels. Somebody's getting some bagels, bringing them into work. Somebody pissed off because they never get a cinnamon raisin one. That's my joint right there. Don't touch it. All right. So, uh, yeah. Where's the everything bagel? I don't see the everything. I just see the cinnamon raisin, though. Oh, that might be the everything bagel. But at any rate, somebody's thinking about some bagels. We'll see what's up with the bagels. That could be about some dough, some bread, okay? Other type of bread. That bread, that skrill, or that dollar. This is a, a girl. This is like a school age girl. Okay, so some of you, this could be about your daughter. Um, you know, she could be anywhere between the ages of 12 and 17. Yeah, about between 12 and 17, 12 and 16. So this is somebody who's in high school. All right. And we'll see what's going on with your daughter. She's smiling. She's happy. That's beautiful. All right. And somebody going on a cruise? Somebody going on a cruise. Okay. Speedboat going out to the water. Somebody um, pulling the boat out. It's that time of year. Time to pull the boats out. Okay. Especially in New York. The weather's getting warmer. Upstate New York. You know, in the southern states of, of, of uh, the U.S. People pulling them boats out. Ready to get it in. You know, um, a lot of people are not as stressed out as they used to be about COVID. Especially now that they know that uh, Dr. falke has been bullshitting around and playing games and lying. <laughs> one minute he's like don't wear a mask the next minute he's like i got a vaccine now he don't got but one mask on he got two so it's like what's going on Rand paul look at the if you can google 
Rand Paul going ham on him, talking about, look, you're just doing this for show. What What's the real deal here? Yeah, it was hilarious. I'm like, oh, yeah, I told y'all Dr. Fauci was playing games. But at any rate, I digress. Let's get to the cell phone. What's up with the cell phone? Who you calling? Who's checking your phone? Is your kid's phone? Your kid want a phone, right? It could be your kid wants you to spend all this damn money for this damn so the, the next iPhone or whatever the latest phone is. But with the phone here, we got the death energy. That's Scorpio. Yeah, I feel like you asked. <laughs> like I said, you asked. Uh, who was it? Axed as in A-X-E-D. Okay, you see she's got the sickle, the big ass sickle right there. So you axed or sickled whoever your cell phone provider was to go over to AT&T so you can get that galaxy. I ain't mad at you. Let me know how that galaxy worked. I would love to know. But some of you, you know, you cut off the cell phone bill. Maybe you cut off your kid's cell phone. Maybe they were up to something. I don't know. But uh, it looks like you definitely brought something to an end. So it could just be you changing your number. A lot of you changing your number. You know, it's spring, new energy. A lot of you probably cut off a lot of karmic uh, folks, you know, with the win during the winter healing, got went through and did what you needed to do. And so now you're changing your phone number. You're not trying to hear from nobody. None of them, none of them old folks anyway. None of them old people that you cut off. Yeah, we got the hangman energy in reverse here. Yeah, you look at them like they traitors. Like I don't want to be, I don't want to deal with none of them. It could be family, it could be friends, it could be ex lovers, it could be a combination of it. Co old co workers that you just ain't fucking with no more. <laughs> you know, oh everybody that you just like, yo, I don't talk to these people. Why I even got them on my phone? You know what? I think I'm a. You know how you get that feeling? It's like you know what? I'm about to change my damn number. Fuck everybody. And you change your number and then you send in every... Here's, here's my number. It's me. Don't give it to nobody. You know how that go. <laughs> you know how that go, Lib Libra. You know how it go. But that's what you on right now. I ain't mad at you. Y'all been going through some things too. So I ain't mad at you cutting people off and changing your phone number. For real. Yup, taking action with the King of Wands. Cut your phone number off. Look, I'm out here on the prowl. I need a new phone number. Some of you may have had a plan with your ex-lover. And they could see all your business, who you done called. They tracing the numbers all in your phone. Like I said, I felt like some of y'all was in your phone. Were in your phone. Some people were in your phone. Some of y'all might have been in somebody's phone and found something out. Okay? Might have found something out about a Scorpio or a Pisces. Okay? With the major arcana here. I don't know why I said that. Because I usually don't rock like that. You know I don't. But, uh, this is what it is right here. Okay? Somebody could be actively seeing uh, some of these people here. And somebody may have gone through somebody's phone and found, oh, you, 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 oh, you hollering at such and such. Oh, okay. And they may have gotten pissed off. You know, so now they out here, that gives them reason to go out here and start gallivanting around. You know, it's spring, people getting crazy. You know, it's spring, you know how people are. They get horny, they get bonkers, and they're ready to mate. Let's see what this bread is about. What's this bagel about? It looks like bread. It reminds me of dough. That's what comes to my mind. Dough as in moolah, cash. What's this bagel's about for Libra? We have the five of cups in reverse. This is scorpionic energy as well. Maybe you're looking at all the dough you spent in this connection. All the money you spent. Some of you could have had the cell phone. You and your partner. And you were paying the bill and you went through and saw who they were talking to. Like this goddamn traitor out here sleeping around with whomever, da, 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 lying to me, telling me they ain't seeing her or they ain't seeing him. And you find that out, you find it in the phone or you, the maybe they're around you and they got the phone and the, the screen is visible and you see the call coming and you see the person name. Y'all better start learning, y'all better learn what to do. Y'all better change the numbers to symbols. Change, change the person's name, just do certain symbols, do five, five uh, asterisks and you know who that is. Look, look at me. <laughs> do, you know, do five uh, zeros and you know who that person, like, you know, you know, how you got to know how to do it. But um, I look, I feel like with this five of cups reverse energy here, this is somebody changing their mind about spending some dough. I feel like somebody changing their mind about bringing, I'm not bringing bagels to work. I'm not doing it. No one ever says thank you. No one appreciates. They leave a hell of a mess and they always take the cinnamon raisin bagels. They never leave me one. Like, yo, you bring the bagels in, you should grab what you want first. That would never happen to me if I was bringing in the bagels, I, I assure you. But at any rate, somebody's like, no, nah, I'm changing my mind. 
I don't want to, I don't want no parts of it. Or you're trying to be good. Maybe you're trying to watch your weight. A lot of people trying to get themselves together. The weather's breaking. You know, pe a lot of people coming out of karmic relationships looking for new love. So maybe you're like, no, on the bread, I got to slow down on the bread. No bagels. Stop bringing bagels to work. Why don't you bring fruit? Yeah. That's what I'm hearing for some of y'all. What's up with this bagel? What else we got with these bagels? Oh. Uh, the two of wands in reverse. Yeah, you done with the bagels. Like, I can't eat the bagels. I can't. I gotta be good. Some of you trying not to spend no money, too. You're trying not to spend dough. Trying to reserve your money. Yeah, some of you may be wanting to move. And you're trying to save your money. Some of you changing your phone number. You moving. Or maybe you can't move because you don't have enough bread. That's why the two of wands is in reverse. You really want to move with the ace of wands? Because the connection is over with the five of cups reverse. Or whatever situation is, is over. You're no longer mourning it. You're no longer in, you know, in grief about it. You know, the situation has stopped with the two of wands reverse. And now you got a new beginning here. So it's like you need that dough. You need that bread so you can move and do the things you want to do. All right, but you got a child here. Let's see what's going on with your kid. Or this could be a niece, a family member, a cousin. But she in high school. Page of Swords reverse. Maybe you're trying to keep things from her. Okay, so maybe this is her dad that you're having problems with or her mom that you're having problems with. And you're trying to keep her out of the mix. Some of you, maybe she knows something that she's not telling you. She might know what's going on with y'all or something like that. Or maybe you, I don't know. We'll see what else is this. Five of Cups, for, I'm sorry, Five of uh, Pentacles reverse. Maybe she wasn't feeling well. Maybe she's getting better now with the five of uh, pentacles in reverse. Maybe she was a bit under the weather. Could have been frustrated about what's going on with you and mom or you and dad. All right. And she's trying to handle it. Or maybe people are afraid to let her know about what's going on. Maybe mom and or dad is seeing someone else. And now it's like, okay, we got to let her know because it's official. We're not uh, together no more. Like we're not together together no more. You know? Um... Maybe she's under the impression that people are getting back together and they're not with the Page of Swords reverse and the Five of Pentacles reverse. Or maybe, um, you know, you can't tell her that you're getting back together. Maybe because you're not. Maybe you thought you were, but now that's not happening. Maybe you got some money coming and you're not letting her know because you know she's going to want that phone. She's going to want that phone. Got the, the King of Cups energy here. Um... This is scorpionic energy as well. So you got a lot of scorpionic energy here. But uh, this is someone taking action here. Um, hmm. Yeah, I feel like this is an energy here of somebody not knowing or somebody... Not being able to accept that maybe their father's not moving back in the house or the mother's not moving back. The parents are not getting back together is what I'm feeling here. Somebody may not be talking to one of the parents. You know, the child may be refusing to talk to one of the parents. Or she might have been upset at him. Could have been. She could be upset. That could be going on for some of you. You may be going through some things. Your child may be going through some things. All right, with this boat here, what's up with this boat, though? Somebody going somewhere. Somebody going, pulling the boat out. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody's going back. Pisces energy anyway. This is Pisces, too. Somebody going to the sea. Somebody going out to the ocean, going out to the beach. All right, yeah, they bringing the boat back out with the Eight of Cups reverse. What else we got for this boat? We got the... Ten of Pentacles reverse with the boat. Hmm. Somebody selling the boat? Y'all own the boat? You selling the boat? What's going on? What's, what, why is the Ten of Cups here with the boat? The Ten of Cups in reverse, actually. This is somebody breaking up. This is a, a relationship that's not here anymore. Or maybe it's the boat. Somebody's missing this boat. Maybe somebody had to sell their boat. Hmm. What else we got with this with this boat? We got the uh, four. Yeah, see, somebody's trying to sell the boat. I feel like somebody has to sell the boat. They love this boat too, with this ten of cups in reverse. 
They want their boat back <laughs> with the Eight of Cups reverse. Somebody might have sold the boat last year, you know, because COVID was going on. And, and a lot of people were downsizing because of the financial uh, scarcity that a lot of people were experiencing. Somebody might have sold their boat and now they want it back. Or it could have been that a couple broke up and somebody wants the boat. It's like, I don't want you back, but I do want the boat. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what I'm getting with that. This could also be a surprise visit. Maybe um, the father lives out of town and the father's coming in and is not going to say anything. Not going to tell her. It's going to surprise her. I feel like going to surprise the daughter or the, the young girl, whoever this girl is. It could be an uncle, could be a cousin. It may not be a daughter, but maybe you're coming in town to visit, and this is your favorite relative right here, and uh, she don't know you're coming. So you could be trying to surprise her, trying to sneak up on her. I feel that for some of you. But yeah, somebody mad about this boat. I would be too. Look at this. Look at this. This is nice. I like the little speed boats. Love that. Take me. But yeah. Somebody's upset that they had to sell their boat. Or that they ain't going to be able to have the boat anymore, depending on what's going on. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's what I got for you for the general stuff. Hopefully some of that resonated. If it didn't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Check your other placements. I post for you every week. We're going to have fresh energy every week. I got new cards. Don't worry. All kinds of shit going to come out every week. Let's get... um. Let's use these. Let's get a let's get a reading going here. Another spread. We're gonna have an extended to this. The link's gonna be in the box below. What we got for Libra? What messages we got going on for Libra? Libra energy. Messages for Libra, please. Damn, Libra. All right. Well, I don't gotta take that one. Messages for Libra. Messages for Libra. Thank you. Libra energy. Thank you. Messages for Libra. All right, Libra, underneath the deck, the overall energy is the Page of Cups in reverse. All right, pages to me are kids or their messages. So, um, this could also be an energy itself, um, but I feel like with this Page of Cups energy, just in general, I mean, until I know what the other cards are, I don't know what this would mean in particular for you, but the Page of Cups in reverse could be, this could be a child, um, out of wedlock, this could be somebody who's emotionally manipulative, it could be a child who is, or it could be an adult who's very immature, it could be someone who plays mind game, manipulation games, um, let's see. So we got the Six of Wands, which is Leo energy. This is your current situation here. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse here, which is Pisces. That's the challenge. The Seven of Wands in reverse is what your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your ancestors, your higher self want you to keep in mind. The Seven of Swords, which is Aquarius energy, is the um, where your thoughts are at, where your head's at. And then the outcome here is the devil energy in reverse, which is Cap City energy, Major Arcana, a.k.a. Capricorn. Somebody just want to be a hoe. It ain't nothing wrong with that. I ain't mad at you. Somebody want to get out here and do their thing. It's spring. It's it, honey. I ain't mad at you, Libra. Because, you know, that's what it do for all of us, honey. Don't let nobody get it twisted. Somebody is, like, single and ready to mingle. Do you hear me? Somebody is ready. Okay? It's like, look, I'm single and ready to mingle. This is that I'm single card. The five of wands, it does represent victory and things like that. But it's usually a solo energy. Because it's Leo, which is about the self, the ego. 
All right, so this is somebody who looking good, feeling good, and it's like, look, I'm, I'm taking numbers. I'm taking numbers, all right? The challenge is this person is still heartbroken. They, they're not happy. This could be somebody actually, if they're not a hoe or they tired of being a hoe, the thing is, is they're not happy with the Nine of Cups reverse, or the thing is that they're greedy, one or the other. Because the Nine of Cups in reverse with this um, Piscean energy could represent somebody who's greedy. So, like I said, this could be somebody who's out here thinking totally about themselves. The challenge is, is they greedy as fuck. With the uh, seven, of Pins seven of Wands in reverse, this is more Leo energy, okay? But it's in reverse. This is what the universe, the spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors want. This individual is you or the other person. Take it how it resonates. What they want you to embody or keep in mind or consider. All right, with the seven of wands, this is somebody who's not fighting, who refuses to stand up for something, who refuses to defend something, okay? Somebody who um, just doesn't want to fight, okay? Don't want to have to explain themselves, don't want to have to justify their actions. They could do whatever the hell they want. That's how they feel. Like, I don't, I don't have to explain myself to you. I don't have to defend myself to you. You know how people talk shit and say something, and some people be like... Why you didn't clap back at them? It's like, why, why would I clap back at that? That ain't nobody to be clapping back at. You think because they said something I'm, I'm concerned? I don't got time for that That little minion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This minion, I don't care about that minion. That minion just want attention. And if I feed into it, ain't nobody going to know who the bigger fool is. You know what I'm saying? That's this type of energy too. But um, where this person's head is at or where your head is at is the seven of swords energy. So you're keeping things to yourself. Uh, there could be some sneaky behavior, some deceptive behavior, because we got some greediness here. Okay? And we got some selfishness here. Now, we got the devil energy in reverse, which is very toxic energy here. Uh, but when it's in reverse, it talks about sex. Hmm. Is somebody preggers? Preggers? Okay? Is somebody like, yay! I'm pregnant. That's right. It's his. It, it definitely is his. I'm not telling him nothing right now. Or I'm not saying nothing. Something like that is what I'm getting here with this devil energy in reverse. But um, let's see what these five cards are. We're going to go to the extended and get into detail. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Now keep in mind, with my readings, I don't know about nobody else. And I really don't care about nobody else's channel. So, you know, in a sense to be, you know, oh, well, such and such doesn't do that. I don't know. Listen. <laughs> Let me calm down. Um, what I want to say to you is with my channel, the 8th house energy, because 8th house energy, you have to understand what 8th house energy is to really understand these readings. A lot of people, um, you know, have something to say because it's not all sunshine and rainbows and I'm not sticking, you know, cotton candy up your ass. I'm, I'm, it's not going to go down in the 8th house. Study the 8th house and you'll understand, okay? We're dealing with people's hidden emotions, hidden feelings, okay? Jealousy, envy, revenge. That's people's a lot of people's hidden emotions. And when you're dealing with close family and friends, how does that not, uh, you know I mean? People just want to act like this shit don't exist. It's not just on TV. What do you think TV's derived from? Reality. So be thankful if that's not your reality and it seems far-fetched and it's unreasonable. But, you know, this is some, some people got this going on 24-7. Right? So it could be the Libra who's doing some shit, or it could be the Libra who has some shit being done to him. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So we got the Page of Cups reverse here, the Knight of Pentacles reverse, which is Taurus, the Ten of, of uh, Pentacles reverse, which is uh, Virgo, the Five of Cups, more Scorpionic energy. There's definitely transformation and change going on in your life. And we got the Page of Wands in reverse, the Princess of Wands in reverse. Well, now, why is the Princess of Wands in reverse and the page and the uh, Princess of Wands and the page? Listen, I can't talk. Look, let me just show you the cards. Why are they in reverse? What's going on here? All right, one at the end, one at the beginning. So, to me, this is somebody who was manipulating the situation. It wasn't going anywhere. Or was manipulating the situation because it's not going to. This is player energy is what I feel. Somebody's messing around with someone. They're not in love with them. They had no intention of taking the situation to the next level. They had no intention of, of living with this person or moving in with them. Um, this is somebody who cut off somebody to be with someone else. Or somebody who's going through some type of grieving, sadness, 
okay? And then we have the Page of Wands or Prince of Wands in reverse here. They're not interested. Somebody's not interested anymore with this Page of Wands reverse. If they're not, it's not that they're not interested, it's just that they're interested in sex. Is what I'm feeling here. Somebody just wants sex. Somebody could be scheming on somebody trying to get somebody pregnant to keep them. Listen, I'm so sick of this stuff. I'm so sick of these readings. Libra, whoever you're dealing with, you need to be careful. Okay, if it's somebody from the past, if you're still dealing with someone from the past, this ain't for every Libra. Some of y'all, some of y'all left this person and left them on and, and went on about your business. Others of y'all still dealing with this fool. Okay. Um, now somebody's either trying to get somebody pregnant or somebody's trying to get pregnant by somebody. Because somebody wants to keep someone stuck and they want to get in their pockets. All right. This is what's going on here. Somebody's um pissed off. I feel like they're grieving. Because somebody's not interested in them anymore. This is what's going on here, okay? This is this is what the deal is. And they ended the situation. Yeah, see, they ended it. Mm -hmm. So, some of y'all ended the situation. Y'all y'all not with someone no more. Somebody who's playing games with you, manipulating you. And I feel like this is you saying, you know what? I'm single and I'm ready to mingle. Okay? For others of you, this is the player you were dealing with and you realize that and you ended up cutting the situation short with the world energy because you, you realize this person was manipulating you emotionally and things wasn't going to go nowhere. This person didn't want to take things to the next level. They didn't want to start a family with you. They didn't want to start a legacy with you. So you mourned the loss over the situation and now you, you're not interested in them anymore. You know, but that don't mean you ain't horny and you don't want to do your thing. So now you out here, we look at me, single, sexy, and free. Where everybody at? <laughs> that's what I'm feeling for you, Libra. All right, so that's what's going on here. So let's let's go to the extended and get some clarity on this. If you're resonating with this reading, make sure you click the like button. And please, if you're new, and even if you're not and you're returning, please subscribe. Okay, hit the notification bell. I post every week. For every placement, you're not just Libra. You want to check your other placements as well. So if this doesn't, even if it resonates, whether it does or doesn't, check your other placements, okay? That way you get a full understanding of what's going on in your life. All right? So with that being said, Libra, I'm going to end the video here. We're going to go ahead to the extended. I love you guys. Thank you for coming out to check out the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.